Please welcome Salesforce Chair and CEO, Mark Benioff. Welcome to Dreamforce 2020. Welcome to San Francisco. I'm Mark Benioff, the Chairman and CEO of Salesforce, and I am coming to you live, right here in San Francisco at Salesforce Park. You can see right here, Salesforce Tower is right behind me. And I'm so excited to be here today. I've been dreaming about having this Dreamforce for a long time, but it is not the Dreamforce that I wanted. It's not the Dreamforce that I wanted. It's not the Dreamforce that any of us really wanted. You wanna know why? Because Dreamforce is all about you. Dreamforce is all about you and all of us getting together and having a great time, inspiring each other, motivating each other, rising each other up, doing great acts for others. A Dreamforce is an incredible moment every year when we all get together. But here we are. We are together. We're together digitally. We're coming together spiritually. We're coming together in new ways. And that's what this Dreamforce is all about. It's a Dreamforce we'll never forget. It's definitely a unique Dreamforce. And this is one of gonna be one of the most exciting presentations we have ever done for Salesforce. So I wanna welcome you. I wanna welcome you to Dreamforce 2020. And we have a great day. First of all, let me thank James Corden. Wasn't he great? Wasn't James amazing? And I wanna thank the Akakas also. Incredible what they were doing, all the way from Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii. Thank you, Danny and Anna, for always opening Dreamforce. And we have a lot of other special plans for you today. We have some great customer stories, some very special guests. And what would Dreamforce be without Metallica? So stay tuned for Metallica, because Lars and the entire band is here. Really exciting to have Lars here, our San Francisco band. And Lenny Kravitz also is here. What would Dreamforce be without Lenny Kravitz? So we have a great event for you. And that's today. That's right now. That's over the next hour. But Dreamforce is not just about the next hour. It's also about two weeks from now at Dreamforce TX, an incredible new conference that we have that's gonna have 300 new sessions. That will be December 14th through 17th. That will be amazing. That's when all of us will get together, share best practices, present new ideas, inspire each other digitally online. And one more thing, one more very important thing. We've created a new type of Dreamforce. We have componentized Dreamforce and we have enabled our Salesforce sales executives to be able to present Dreamforce to you, to you. Isn't that cool? So we've already done, in anticipation of this, 4,000 Dreamforces. And we're gonna do more than 100,000 Dreamforces. That's right, we've already done more than 4,000 Dreamforce 2020s. Isn't that cool? And we're gonna do more than 100,000 Dreamforce 2020s. And our Salesforce executives have put together an incredible program that they can bring directly to you. Amazing. So just contact your Salesforce executive right now and if you can't get a hold of them, just email me, co at salesforce.com, and I'll send them right to you. However you want to receive them, they are ready to go. That is going to be really cool. And believe me, in all the Dreamforce to use that I've already attended, I mean, there's been 4,000 of them already. They are incredible. They've got not just the product technology, not just the inspiration, the entertainment. It's highly customized for every customer. So please, let us bring Dreamforce to you. Now look, I'm here to inspire you, I'm here to educate you, I'm here to motivate you, but let me tell you one thing that I'm really here to do. I'm here to thank you. I am here to thank you, each and every one of you. I wanna thank you for everything that you do for us every day. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for all the giving that you have done. Thank you for all the support you have given us. Thank you, and you know what? Thank you to our healthcare workers this year. I mean, they are beyond words what they have done for all of us. Thank you to our essential workers. Thank you to our scientists. Thank you for everyone who's trying to stop this pandemic. And thank you for everyone who has helped when there's people who have been sick. Thank you. We are deeply grateful at Salesforce. Our hand is over our heart. We want to say to each and every one of you, thank you. And to all of our trailblazers, to everywhere, and everything you've done, and all the people who have supported me personally this year, thank you.
Nothing is possible without you, our trailblazers. It's our trailblazers, our Ohana, our family. You know, this is like a family reunion. You all know that. Every year we come here to San Francisco, and well, it's incredible. Well, it's the first time I've done my keynote outside. First time I've, not the first time I've done it with Santa Claus. I've done that before. But it's amazing. And I'll tell you, Dreamforce inspires me, and I'll tell you why it inspires me. Because I so strongly believe that business is the greatest platform for change. Yes, business is the greatest platform for change. There's so many exciting things that Salesforce has done as I look around this great city, San Francisco, and across the Bay to Oakland. You know, I think about our schools. We've given away more than $120 million to our local San Francisco and Oakland public schools. Incredible working with all of our teachers, our principals, our amazing superintendents here in the Bay Area. And we've given away hundreds of millions of dollars to our local public hospitals. And that has been more important than ever, especially this year. And we've even created policy now that gives hundreds of millions of dollars in new services to our homeless, which we badly need here in San Francisco and in so many of our cities in the United States. Look, we believe in stakeholder capitalism. What that means is, look, our shareholders have had a fantastic return. You know, since we went public in 2004, a 5,000% return. But our stakeholders have also had a fantastic return. 50,000 nonprofits and NGOs who run for free on our service. Hundreds of millions of dollars in grants. Amazing. All of the volunteerism that has happened. And I'll tell you one last one that's so important to me, and I'm going to hit on this again soon. We're a net zero company because the planet is a stakeholder. Well, imagine my surprise in March of this year when I got a call from just a few blocks away from here at UCSF, my friend Sam Hoggood, the chancellor of UCSF, called me. And you know what he said? He said, Mark, we're running out of PPE. I said, Sam, I don't know what PPE is. I said, Mark, it's the personal protective equipment we need to protect our healthcare workers. And we need masks and gloves, and we need goggles, and we need all of these things. And I said, I don't know what it is, but we're going to find it. And in fact, we did. We found 60 million pieces of PPE and distributed it not only to Sam, but to over 300 hospitals in need this year. And a lot of that help in distribution, in acquisition, and in the support during this pandemic, things we have, have really needed to provide, actually came in partnership from you, our trailblazers. That's another opportunity for me to say thank you. Thank you. Mahalo Nui Lo again. Thank you for everything that you do for us every day. And here's a quick video that we made about what we've been doing this year in partnership with you to support this PPE effort. This is a mask, but this is more than a mask. This is UCSF Medical Center asking Salesforce for help. This is a team being assembled overnight. So, anyone have any ideas? These are not medical supply distribution specialists. Yeah, look. Oh. This is Salesforce asking Alibaba for help. <laughs> this is not a man who speaks Mandarin. Thanks. This is a woman who speaks Mandarin. Oh, and this is her ordering 500,000 surgical masks for delivery to UCSF. This is big. This is not big. This is nothing. This is a new goal. Is that nine zeros? The only goal. This is a start. This is momentum. This is daunting. Hey babe, what pan do you use for fajitas? Where is it? This is not straightforward. This is a logistical nightmare. This is not a normal time to be working. This is a moment of doubt. This is Salesforce getting others involved. This is a movement. This is working. This is 60 million pieces of PPE delivered to frontline workers all over the world in a matter of weeks, even the island of Hawaii. This is Trailblazer stepping up. This is business as a platform for change, but this is also a mask and you should wear one. You want to know why I love Salesforce? I mean, there's so many reasons why I love Salesforce, but it's because we're doing well and doing good. And I love that video because it really shows this year what we were asked to do through all of you and what we did with all of you. And we couldn't have done it without you. Doing well and doing good is what is driving our culture forward, whether it's innovation or philanthropy, our culture. And now look at what you have created, our trailblazers. Look at what you have created. 
a company next year that will do over $25.5 billion. Look at the growth that you have achieved. This company is all coming through you. We recognize that. I mean, we're going to do $21.1 billion this year, $25.5 billion next year. There's never been an enterprise software company that has grown so fast. And do you want to know why it is? It's because of you. It's because of what you have done. You've created this amazing number one CRM. Look at our market share. How is this possible? People ask me all the time, how is it possible? And I say, you know what? Have you met our trailblazers? Have you met our trailblazers? They're incredible. And do you know what they're doing? They're not only creating these amazing numbers, but they're creating the Salesforce economy. 4.2 million new jobs, a trillion, a trillion in new business revenue worldwide. Salesforce is much bigger than just Salesforce. It's the whole Salesforce economy that's everywhere. You know that because that's who you are. And we recognize that in you. We understand that is you and that we could not do our job and be our business success without you. In fact, we are trailblazers together. We're trailblazers together and I'm inspired by so many of you all over the world. It's impossible for me to just call out one or another, you know, but look, Jonathan Fox, wow. In the UK, veteran became Salesforce developer, now leads community groups and helping others. That's a key hallmark of a trailblazer. A trailblazer loves thy neighbor as thyself. A trailblazer is someone who is helping others, especially this year during this pandemic. Thank you, Jonathan Fox. And thank you to our millions of trailblazers for everything that you have done for others. That's so important to us. And we look at the thousands of groups all over the world who have gotten together to help each other at this time. Thank you. That is incredible. You know, together we built this amazing company, doing well and doing good. Business is the greatest platform for change. That, those are our mantras. We know that. But look at what else you've built. This amazing platform. You've guided us towards customer 360. Thank you for that guidance. It's become the world's number one CRM. These amazing market leading apps. Amazing in sales. And by the way, there's never been a more important time in sales. The number of B2B sales forces this year who are active and calling, mostly from home, calling at every level, have been the lifeblood of business in this country and around the world. And let me also tell you, in service, in marketing, in building commerce, digital commerce, did you see that we processed 31 million orders this weekend for holiday? Incredible. And that was up 60% oh, year over year. And in every other key area that we operate in with partnership with you, whether it is in integration or the platform or wherever we go, this is the unique customer 360 value proposition that you have created with us. It's your success and your community that we serve. We are here for you. And you've created the world's number one CRM, the fastest time to value of any platform that has the scalability and flexibility to achieve this incredible result. Thank you. Thank you again, I get to say it one more time. And now we have one more surprise. We're making our platform even stronger. You may have seen the news already. It's pretty exciting. We've always had the vision of the social enterprise at Salesforce. Oh, that's been for more than a decade. Oh, we've had Dreamforce is entirely dedicated to the vision of what a collaborative interface, a high productive interface with applications and an ecosystem would look like wrapped on top of our customer 360. We thought about it for years. And right there, actually the building right next door to Salesforce Park, guess what? There's an amazing company right there that has been executing the vision of the social enterprise, a vision of a truly collaborative product, a social product. It's incredible. And I want to tell you that now we have brought Slack into the customer 360. So it can provide a comprehensive interface to all of our services. It's amazing. It's an amazing vision. Now look, at, it's not my vision. I want to introduce you to a couple of people who have had this vision and they're going to explain it to you. So first of all, let me introduce you to an incredible entrepreneur, an incredible CEO, the founder of Slack, Stuart Butterfield. Stuart, come on out here. All right. Welcome. Hey, thank you. Great to see you. I wish I could give you a hug, but we're yeah. staying six feet apart. We got uh, 10 feet. Easy. <laughs> That's good, because then you can't see how much shorter I am. Congratulations, Stuart. You know, we're so yeah. excited, and we couldn't be more thrilled 
to have Slack part of Salesforce. So can you just tell us, you know, you and, you and Brett Taylor, our COO, have kind of come up with this magical vision of the future. I mean, it's inspired me, it's inspired so many other people. Can you tell us, what do you see going forward? Sure, I, I, that's the perfect setup. Um, we see this spectrum, and I think everyone listening to this, uh, you can think about what's happening inside your companies. At one end of the spectrum, you have these systems, automated processes, machines talking to machines, a customer makes an order and your inventory is updated. Someone submits a ticket and that goes into the queue for response. One step up from that, you have these applications, wonderful applications like Slack, sales cloud, marketing cloud, mm, service cloud, uh, this whole layer that you interact with. And above that, there's the conversations, the social part, the messy, decision-making, the arguments, um, but that's where the action happens. And you, Salesforce, have, you know, you guys invented the cloud and you've done an incredible job, I think, over the last 20 years of pulling all of these pieces together, um, making those applications and those systems of records incredibly tight. And Slack, I think, has done a great job in taking that conversational level, the context, the decision-making, and bringing it to the applications. You put those all together and you really have the opportunity for end-to-end -end digital transformation. And that's what's really exciting. Well, I'll tell you, Stuart, I have to be honest. I've been, I've been at home all, all uh, year and this is my first time I've basically been out of my home. And I'll, let me tell you what's on my desktop. I got Salesforce, my sales cloud, my service cloud. I've got Tableau Analytics. I'm using Zoom to do my video conferencing and my meetings with my customers and employees all over the world. And I have Slack. All three of these interacting and engaging with each other. Is that your vision of how the future looks? Are we gonna be selling, servicing, marketing? Are we gonna be working from anywhere? Absolutely, working from everywhere. And I, you know, I feel like this is, this now, this moment, is one that we will remember a couple decades from now. I think this is like the IBM AS370, and this is like VisiCalc hitting the Apple II, and it's like Windows 95 launch, it's like the invention of the cloud, it's like the invention of these things. Because I think this is a pivotal moment and the opportunity to really transform the way that we work so that we don't, we're not as reliant on the physical office, that we can have a digital HQ. Well, we couldn't be more excited to have Slack as part of Salesforce, and I know your tremendous vision of how that all integrates together. And also, let's introduce Brett Taylor, who's really been your partner in creating this. So, Brett, come on out and congratulations as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. It's so exciting to see you. So exciting to uh, welcome you to the Salesforce family. Um, Mark, is this crazy? We're outside in a winter wonderland in Salesforce Park. Is this how you pictured it? Happy holidays, today? Brett. Happy holidays to you too, Mark. Um, this is a crazy year. You know what's so cool about that conversation with Stuart? There could not be a more relevant tool this year. I mean, everyone from interacting with each other to interacting with your partners to your customers, everything is going through tools like Slack. Everything's gone digital overnight. I mean, I could not think of a more relevant way to make Customer 360 successful for our customers. Well, you created an amazing new product this year, Work.com, that helped us really go after, you know, contact tracing and the and vaccine management, I'm sure you're gonna talk about that, it's amazing. Then you came up with a whole new product, Salesforce Anywhere, so that we could sell, service, market, do all of our work from anywhere. And then all of a sudden you came to me with Stuart and you said, now look at what this looks like when you add Slack, and it's amazing. So just give us a moment, where are we going into the future? Well, Mark, I think we are in an all digital work anywhere world. And, you know, at Dreamforce, people come to Dreamforce because they want to know what's in the what does the future hold and how can we, we help shape it? Mark, I think we're living the future right now. We're, you know, doctor's offices have moved to telemedicine. My, uh, you know, I just did a curbside flu shot the other day. I think, you know, doing business over Zoom, our employees being distributed all around the world, consumer goods companies going direct to consumer via custom apps. We're not going back. The stuff we saw in Cyber Week last week, that's an indicator of the future. And uh, I think that when I look at what does it mean to grow in this new normal, it's Slack plus the customer 360. Well, I have to be honest with you, Brad. I'm excited that Metallica is here and also that Lenny Kravitz is here, but I'm very excited about your presentation you're about to give on the future technology. So take it away. I will, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Happy so holidays. Excited. So, I mean, that was a great introduction to talking about our technology platform. I mean, this year is all about change. We have gone digital overnight. And we've been using this phrase with our customers called the digital imperative, because let's be honest, it's 2020. If you don't have a digital business, you don't have a business. 
And we're gonna have three incredible stories of people who have overcome adversity and remarkably found success this year. This year of all years with so much personal and professional adversity. And there's one common theme in all three of these stories. And that's that these leaders, these trailblazers are using this year as an opportunity an opportunity to overcome that adversity and accelerate that move into digital, to really transform customer experience and recognize that next year is gonna to continue to accelerate this move towards the digital consumer and the digital customer. Now, as the resident technology geek at Salesforce, I talk to a lot of CIOs and I know this is really, really hard in practice. Data silos, legacy systems that feel like an anchor that are preventing you from moving forward and getting to where you want to go. And this is why we created the Salesforce Customer 360. Salesforce Customer 360 is the answer. It's how you can go digital fast. It's how you can create a single source of truth for your customers across sales, customer service, e-commerce, marketing, a single source of truth for your data that you can see and understand with Tableau. And with MuleSoft, connect all those legacy systems so they become an asset rather than a liability. Now, Mark, I'm not even sure if you know that I'm announcing this right now, but we have been working for the past two years on probably the most significant technological shift in this platform since Mark and Parker created it over 21 years ago. And we call this new capability Hyperforce. Hyperforce, really simply put, we've been working to enable us to deliver Salesforce on public cloud infrastructure all around the world. There's a ton of really cool technical details that I'd love to get right now, but I want to focus on how it's going to help you, our developers, our admins, and our customers. First, we've had to completely re-architect Salesforce to work in this way. As a consequence, it's horizontally scalable. That means that if you have a B2B company with 10,000 customers, or you're a B2C customer with 100 million or more consumers, you can now use Salesforce as your single source of truth for all of that data and really power all of those experiences that you just heard us talking about in Cyber Week. And because we're Salesforce, we built trust right into the platform. Security, compliance, privacy. Whether you're a small business or you're a multinational in a heavily regulated industry like financial services or the public sector, with Hyperforce, you can make Salesforce your engine for growth. And thanks to our incredible partnerships with all of the amazing public cloud companies around the world, we are gonna deliver this in every region where you do business. This is already live. It's live in India, it's live in Germany, and we're rolling out in 10 countries next year. If you have data residency needs, Hyperforce is your key to bringing Salesforce where your customer are, customers are. Now, for you developers out there, this is the most remarkable thing. It is 100% backwards compatible. Your apps will work with no changes. You can benefit from all of this automatically. Now, you're going to see these amazing customer stories, and they are all enabled by this amazing new platform. It all starts with this single source of truth. This is the foundation of our platform. We are relaunching a new B2C scale data warehouse that is going to enable every single marketer around the world create segments and truly create a single source of truth for marketers. And on top of that single source of truth, we have Einstein. This is our incredible point and click in AI. This is now powering over 80 billion predictions per day. You probably experienced it last week if you did an e-commerce. It's personalizing web pages. It's helping salespeople prioritize their leads. This is the power of the customer 360. And on top of Einstein, we enable you to create these incredible experiences to really meet your customers where they are. Whether it's in a custom app, a website, a channel on Slack Connect, or you're creating a chat bot. You're gonna hear so many amazing stories of what our customers are doing with this platform. And honestly, Mark, the thing I'm so excited about is how much more powerful it is now with Hyperforce. Over 2.5 million terabytes of data strong, helping all of you be successful. And with that, Mark, I'm gonna pass it back to you to tell us a little bit more about these customer stories. Brett, amazing. Hyperforce, what a surprise, I can't believe it. Great job, I'm so excited. You know, we're in an amazing new world. We're in an all digital world. And as you just saw, 
This isn't the dream force we wanted. The dream force we want is with all of you here in the, with us in San Francisco. You know, we want to be celebrating and uniting and coming together and inspiring each other and giving back. But we're doing it today digitally. And this is our new world. We're doing everything from anywhere. And that's why this Slack opportunity is so important. Because when we combine our customer 360 platform and Hyperforce and everything that Brett just uh, a lot announced, wow, with Slack, takes everything to another level. Gives us the ability to operate our companies from anywhere. Now I'm gonna tell you three stories. I'm gonna tell you three amazing stories that happened this year. And these three amazing stories are all happening live right here in San Francisco. Are you ready for that? And the chapter one is really, we call intelligence. It's amazing, but it's a bigger, more exciting, more powerful story than that. Let me tell you, this is all about the state of Rhode Island. This is all about Gina Raimondo, the governor of Rhode Island. She's an amazing leader. She contacted me earlier this year. She said she's fighting the pandemic. How can Salesforce help the state of Rhode Island battle the pandemic? We have received that phone call from so many governors so many mayors, so many presidents, so many CEOs from all over the world. We couldn't believe it. And that's why we built so many new products, whether it was contact tracing or vaccine management or whatever we could do to help others, we are gonna do it. And now what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually give you an insight into what we've been doing this year. So when you read about some of these stories, now you're gonna see some of the faces behind the people who've been doing God's work. Let's take a look at the state of Rhode Island.